Right, um, so we all know that uh, hybrid seeds is a lot more expensive than open pollinated. Uh, specifically when looking at uh, cabbage, uh, is this worth the extra money? Uh, we recently had a look at uh, Sakata's field day and I must say the difference is astounding. But judge for yourself, have a look here. Do you guys know the difference between OPs and hybrids? Wait, maybe you talk about that in the second video. <coughs> <laughs> okay, so on most veggies, it's so important to note this, to know the difference between an OP and a hybrid. I know many times when I go into, you know, places like Zimbabwe, Botswana, the people ask me, why do I have to pay so much more money for a hybrid seed? And I tell them, I wish I could show you. Well, guys, I'm showing you now. Okay, if you look at the back there, it's Copenhagen, Copenhagen Market, under the same conditions. Planted the same day. Is that an open pollinated? Open pollinated. Okay, but come in. Um, ah, come on. Just so give me two seconds here. Yeah. If you just look around the field of that side, look at all. There was a harsh. It was a harsh summer. There was strange rain, strange wind, and then sudden colds, and then sudden heat splurges. And look at all the other cabbages. I could still harvest. I could pick my hob, my head to harvest. And okay. Copenhagen, I harvested the nicest one to put it up there for you guys. There was no so this else, is there was nothing else I could this is open pollinated. Yes. You're looking at the best thing. And I it's even small. Look how small it is. Yeah, it's already starting to small, burst. Small, already starting to burst. And just overall disease, you know, it just doesn't cover up nicely. It's just not. <laughs> not nice. You won't be. You won't. Why? Do, why would I want to plant a hybrid? Improved uniformity. Improved and, yield. And this is the hybrids that was planted at the same time. Hybrids to that side. To that side. This is open pollinated, everything. Yes. So let me just show you. This is basically open pollinated. And if we go this side, this will be now we're coming to the to the hybrids. And yes, I guess you guys can make up your own minds regarding that and now why the seeds are so much more expensive. Right. And when you've got a specific market, when I develop a market, when I say, listen, I can deliver 50 cabbage heads of 6 kilograms every week and I cannot take it off the field, then I'm going to disappoint my marketer. So when you've already established the market, then you need to start planting stuff like hybrids because then you can guarantee what you're going to take off. Okay. This whole company, all the other seed companies, that's what we do. We specialize in getting a product that's what we can guarantee you're going to take off this much at this time in this season. And that's why you want to plant a hybrid. Okay. All part of your risk management. All part of your risk management. Exactly. Also, yeah, it's just, I don't even know, there's not even a question to me about it. Right. That's, that's me. That's the end of me. Yeah. Thank you. Any questions? So the difference between open pollinated and hybrids. I don't even think it's a choice. Um, the amount of money these guys spend on developing seeds and getting the best of both um, and really to produce seed and uh, cabbage that is marketable and reduces all your, or not my, all, but most of your risks um, in farming's risk management. So uh, the more of those risks you can manage through genetics, the better. Till next time. Cheers.